Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy and Don Amici. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings once again from Edgar Bergen, Ray Noble, and his orchestra, Dale Evans, our very special guest, W.C. Fields, and Charlie McCarthy. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Mr. Michi. Well, where is he? Where is he? Well, what's the matter? You don't look very happy. You should be pleased that your old friend W.C. Fields is going to be here today. Yeah. Well, he better not start anything around here, that's all. Oh, now, Charlie, Charlie, listen. You've got it. You've got it all wrong. Yeah? Bill loves you. He thinks the world of you. <laughs> Small world, isn't it? Oh, Charlie, look, why don't you forget the past? Forgive and forget. Live and let live. Hug and kiss. Lots in the jets. Hail and hearty. Hit and run. Yeah, oh, Charlie. Uh, hello, Bergen. Yeah, now, your remarks are entirely out of order, young man. Yeah? Why, you have no right to say such things as you have about Mr. Field. Uh, why, he's a fine man. Why, certainly is. Yeah. I think you should repent and relent, reform and recant, liver and bacon. Laurel and Hardy, Jason Sanborn. Jason Oh, don't start that darn stuff again. All right, now, Charlie, when Mr. Field gets here, Taz, I want you to apologize for the things that you've called him in the past. Apologize? Yes. I'll do more than that, Mr. Bergen. Fine. I'll even apologize for what I'm going to call him today. You know. <laughs> Just for that, young man. I'll slaughter. No. <laughs> young man, I want you to go over in the corner and think of something very nice to say to Bill Fields today. I will if, if Amici comes with me. And I want you to sit down and say, I'll be very nice to W.C. Fields 100 times. But Bergen. Now go ahead and say it. All right. I'll be very nice to Bill Fields 100 times. I'll be very nice to Bill Fields 100 times. I'll be very nice to Bill in fact, it was, it was so lovely, I'm going to do something for you. Oh, so you're going to do something for me, huh? Yes, yes, I need friends today. I do. <laughs> Mr. Nietzsche, I'm going to autograph a muscle for you. Autograph? Uh, I don't get it. Well, Mr. Nietzsche, you will. You see this little outfit here? Yes, I see it. Well, now look. Yeah. Well, what in the world is that? That's what you call it, uh, one of those uh, skin sketchers. Uh, um. A skin sketcher? Yeah. But what? Oh, oh, you mean a tattooing set? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of those uh, epidermis embellishers. Uh. Oh, I see. Uh, where'd you get that, Charlie? Uh, well, where'd I get it? Well, you yeah. might say it was given it to me. It was uh, sort of given. Old Man Dugan, you might say. Oh, so Old Man Dugan gave it to you, huh? Yeah. Well, that's uh, nice of him, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, he didn't... Very nice of him to well, give you that, he... isn't it? No, he didn't exactly give it to me outright, you might say. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, he doesn't know you've got it, huh? Well, let us say it was more of a trade sight unseen, that's what it was. <laughs> What I mean is he didn't see me take it. Yeah. Yeah, I get exactly what you mean, Charlie. Exactly. Uh, you know, it, it must be very interesting work, this tattooing, Charlie. Oh, it is. It is. It's very good. It is. Uh, it gives me a chance to express my artistic self, you know. Yes. Most fascinating work it is. Too. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. I suppose after a while it does get under your skin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Meachie. <laughs> you are the one, I do. <laughs> What what kind of work have you been doing with this skin embroidery set, Charlie? Well, yesterday I tattooed a, a constitution on Skylar Vance Nord's back. You yeah, see? but uh, I didn't quite finish it. Well, what's the matter? Did you run out of ink? No, Skylar ran out of skin. <laughs> Mr. Nietzsche, why don't you let me go to work on you? I well, can do a lovely uh, uh, seascape on your chest, huh? No, no, Charlie, I, I don't think so. The noise of the surf always keeps me awake at night. You see, I have a little trouble sleeping. Oh, you do? Yeah, uh-huh. Do you try going to bed at night? Yes, yes, I do that. Uh, well, I tell you what I Not as a regular routine, I no, mean, you know. But, you uh, should tell me. Often <laughs> enough. <laughs> and then I could. You know what I'll do for you, Don? What? I'll tattoo a checkerboard on your stomach, huh? Checkerboard? Yeah. Well, what good would that do? Well, as long as you're going to be awake at night, you could play checkers in bed. <laughs> Pretty good idea. Yeah. Would the uh, would the color be permanent? Oh, I use uh, incredible ink, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, would your would your tattooing last me a lifetime? Well, it would unless you got a complete retread. <laughs> You know, Charlie, I, I'd like to see your, your tattooing set work. Well, thank you, Mr. Michi. Yeah, but not on me. Oh. Yeah. Well, of course, um, there's always uh, 
Ray Noble isn't there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go again. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Mr. Noble. Hello, Jeff. Well, what is it? Mr. Noble, would you like to do your bit toward advancing a young man in his artistic career? Yeah. Well, who's the young man? It's me. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm not falling for any of your skin games, thank you. Uh, skin game? Oh, how did you know? Well, Charlie, what's the racket this time? Well, Mr. Noble, I've been chosen... I've chosen a career of tattooing, and uh, you have the skin I'd love to retouch. <laughs> Well, Charles, I, I don't know. Are you sure that you're uh, artistically capable? Oh, why, Ray, how can you ask that? Well, Charlie's pictures are the work of a master. No, yes. A master. Thank you, oh, Don. Well, Thank you. Well, why, well, someday you may be hung in a national gallery. <laughs> Well, well, tell me, Charles, just how do you do it? Well, of course it's done by electricity. Uh, yeah, imagine. <laughs> Look, come on, come on, Ray. Roll up your sleeve and we'll yeah, try a picture on your arm. No, 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 Do you have anything in mind, such as a girl's name? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got it. How about your family crest? Oh, that, yes. hey, well. What is that. your family crest, Mr. Noble? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, Charlie, uh, it's a crumpet rampant on a field of damp tea leaves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, one of the oldest families in Hollywood. Oh, that one that yeah. we could fit you to a tea. Oh, he's a crumpet. Oh, believe yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, all right, so be it. I shall start crumping. Uh, turn on the juice, will you? Quick, Watson, the needle. Stand still, will you, Mr. Noble? I don't know how I get mixed up in these things. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter, Ray? I, I thought you were tickling me. Well, no, I can't stand it. Really. Stand I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> Well, Charlie. I like that. He can't stand yeah, it. I think that, uh, that applause was unnecessary, don't you? <laughs> Believe me, as unnecessary as anything I have ever heard. I thought he was inadequate in the part, personally. Completely. Completely. Couldn't yes. stand it. It tickles him. That's it certainly yeah. is crumpet for a crest. Oh, yeah. don't burn me up anymore, no. <laughs> well, Charlie, the first customer's gone. Yeah, yeah. But he's not my first, you know. He's my second. Second? Yeah. What do you mean? Have you seen Bergen? Oh, Bergen? <laughs> yeah. Well, now, don't yes, tell... I got him when he was asleep. <laughs> no. Right on top of his head. Oh, no. <laughs> what a spot for a mural. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what's going on here, fellas? Uh, quiet, 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 quiet. Get your arms up. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. No, uh, hello, Mr. Bergen. Hello, hello, Charlie. Yeah. Look, look, Charlie. Yeah? Ask him to take his head off. Yeah, like, like, George. <laughs> Just be patient. Yeah, I'm going to ask him to take his head off. I will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> ask him to take I it need. off. I need. Go on, ask him to take it off. All right, I will. Well, now, why did Ray uh, run out of here in such a hurry? What was the matter here? Well, uh, Edgar, uh, Charlie started to tattoo his arm, and he, he just couldn't take it. Oh, I see. Tattooing. Yeah. yeah. So that's what you're doing? Yes, sir. Well, what's next? You are. No, I don't... <laughs> Come on, how about it, Edgar? Wouldn't, wouldn't you like a nice anchor on your chest? Anchor on my chest? Yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't care for that. Well, how about a stained glass on your bay window? Well, now, <laughs> I can't imagine myself walking around with tattooing on me. You can't? Uh, no. Well, you haven't seen the top of your head lately, have you? What do you mean, top of my head? What do you mean by that remark? Well, Mr. Bergen, do you remember taking a nap this afternoon? Yes, well... Well... No. Come on, bend over, Edgar. Let me see your head, will you? Charlie, did you print something up there? <laughs> You're a walking billboard, Bergen. <laughs> what does it say, Don? What does it say, <laughs> huh? Eat it, Joe's. Eat it. <laughs> Old, old friend. Uh, not too loud on that old, old stuff, please, Don. <laughs> An old, old friend, W.C. Fields. And as the saying goes, old friends like old wines improve with age. Yeah, they improve with age, eh? Yeah. Mine's a noggin, the father's ruin. <laughs> Well, certainly good to see you again, Bill. Oh, thank you, Dan. Uh, the name is Don, Bill. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> no, Don. Don yeah. Amici. That's uh, right. I was going to call you D.A., but folks would think uh, the flat feet were after me again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you, Don. In fact, everybody loves you. Well, thank you, W.C. Don, you remind me of my dear old Peter. Kindly old gentleman. 
He used to sit in the living room and spin yarns for hours. Then there were times when he'd just sit in the living room and spin. <laughs> must have been a remarkable man. Oh, yeah, a remarkable man, Doc. You know, Bill, since we last saw you, there's been an awful lot of water under that bridge. Yeah, water. That's the place for the Catholic stuff. <laughs> well, Bill, now that you're here, I hope there won't be any fighting between you and Charlie, you know. Fighting? Yeah. Why, Don, you're talking to a new field. A new field? Yes, Don, a peaceful man. I'm full of the spirit of friendship. Every night. <laughs> the little jockey. I'd like to talk to him. Well, here I am, Mr. Field. Well, well, yeah. Charles McCarthy, my little pal. Uh, Mr. Charles, I've been carrying the torch for you. <laughs> I can see it on your nose. <laughs> ah, bright little nipper. Oh, is that new paint job on there? <laughs> Well, oh, Charles, in spite of some of the things you say, I love you. I love you because you never change. You're always the same. Thank you. Always the same. A little rat. <laughs> oh, now, look, look, fellas, please. Yeah. Let's, let's... Yeah, Charlie, if you would only cooperate and avoid these uh, disgraceful scenes like we've had in the past. Yeah. Now, I want you to promise that you will make no remarks. Oh, all right, Mr. Bergen. I promise. I'm glad to hear that, Charles. Because I'm here today, bearing an olive branch. Oh, how nice. Yeah. You know, Mr. Fields, I have something that might interest you. Yes? Yes. You see, I own a, a tattooing set, Mr. Fields. A tattooing set? Yes. And uh, I could give you an awfully good price on a dim-out job on that nose of yours. <laughs> A little nasal needle point is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby, you silly little scatlin. <laughs> I'll take my... Oh, my <laughs> Well, that's a switch. <laughs> he wants to uh, do a dim out on my nose, eh? If I had a match, I'd commit arson on him. <laughs> well, if I had a lick, I'd stick it in your mouth and rinse you out for an alcohol lamp. No. Charlie, Charlie oh. and Bill, listen. Yeah? Charlie, quiet. Now, Bill didn't come here to fight with you. He's the new fields, a brand new field. Oh, I got new fields to conquer, huh? <laughs> quiet, Charles. Or I shall be compelled to saw you into a mazilla phone. <laughs> Why, listen, oh, yeah, I'll tell you, 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 I'll I refuse to be a middleman to such a fib. Oh, no. job on my nose, there. eh? The little fuel. Yeah, see, <laughs> there you go. There you go insulting me again, Mr. Fields. Why, right, Charles is a term of endearment. I'm being kittenish. Kittenish? <laughs> well, I don't like your puss. Well, <laughs> really. Darling. You know, I don't think Mr. Fields loves me anymore. That's clear. I never said I didn't love you. I have got a soft spot in my heart for you. And a corresponding spot in my head. That explains it. <laughs> Tell me, Charles. What is it, Mr. Fields? Is it true that your father was a geek leg table? <laughs> <laughs> if it is, your father was under it. <laughs> Half a tick, you butch brain. What is it, Lantern Snoot? <laughs> Are you inferring that my father was a drinking man? No, I guess I shouldn't say that. No. No, your father wasn't a drinking man. That shows how little you know, brother. <laughs> you know, Bill, he must have been a remarkable man. Oh, he was, Tom. Yeah? Do you know what my pride has said to me one day? Peter, that should have been, yes. Yeah, well, what, what did your Peter say, Bill? Well, you really want to know. I right? really want to know, yeah. It was the day I turned 16. Oh, uh, just how old are you now, Mr. Fields? Well, you might say I'm looking forward to my 40th natal day. <laughs> looking forward? Yeah. Um, You're facing the wrong way, aren't you? <laughs> Very 
clever. <laughs> That's very clever. <laughs> Why don't you go outside, blood poison, and sit on my buzz saw? <laughs> Imagine that little rat wants to do a dim out job on my nose. <laughs> oh, now, Bill, look, don't get excited. Remember, Charlie's an orphan. Oh! Oh, yes, an orphan. It reminds me of stale champagne. Go ahead, Don. Ask me uh, why an orphan reminds me of stale champagne. No, Pop. Don, the more I talk to you, the better I like McCarthy. <laughs> you were talking about the father, Bill. Oh, yes. Well, uh, where was father? Oh, yes. I forgot to tell you, Don. Peter passed away at the age of 104. Did your father die of old age, Mr. Fields? Uh, yes. I uh, know. He was kicked to death by a horde of infuriated grasshoppers. <laughs> What's the matter with that kid? <laughs> Plain walk? <laughs> if I had a shot, shotgun, I'd make a cribbage board out of it. <laughs> uh, you tanker, if I had a torpedo, I'd sink you. No way, I'll throw a termite on you. Oh, now, Bill, Bill, listen, your father must have been a remarkable man. Oh, yeah, a remarkable man, Don. He always traveled in the best of circles. Uh, I suppose he was a bon vivant, huh? A bum, a bum, uh, uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, no, no, Don, one leg was shorter than the other. Uh, this was uh, later remedied by an operation which removed a small length of brass rail from under his metatorsal arm. <laughs> Tell me, Charles, do you have your legs shaved or they just pull the leaves out? <laughs> Why, you wizard of snozz, you. Mm, I'll push your These are so far through your face, you'll smell coming and going. <laughs> Quiet, you squirrel's warehouse. <laughs> But, but just look at those bruises on your face and head. Why, you look positively atrocious. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, thanks, sir. <laughs> you look pretty good yourself, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> your poor head and those bumps there. Well, my, 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 my. It's in pretty bad condition. Well, yeah, well, you don't think they'll have to amputate it, do you? No, no. <laughs> no, I don't think they'll have to remove your head. Well, I hope not. I kind of need it as a place to keep my hat, you know. Yeah. <laughs> What happened? Were you kicked by a mule? No, no, it wasn't that. Uh, I see. Fell off a bar? No, no, no. Asked me if I was hit by a truck. All right. Were you hit by a truck? <laughs> no, that <it> wasn't. <laughs> well, now, how did it happen? Well, I'll tell you, it was like this. Uh, you see, Charlie got me to go into one of them, uh, 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 you know, wrestling matches. Wrestling matches, yeah. And, um, and uh, he covered my face, and I was uh, known as the mask. The moron. The masked moron. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You can make a lot of money if you stay in the ring, you know. I see, yeah. Mortimer, didn't you know what Charlie was getting you into? I don't know. No, I guess. What kind of a fool are you? Oh, my kind, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie said, Charlie said that wrestling was easy. Oh, you're so gullible. Well, yeah. Oh, that was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gullible. <laughs> I'm gullible. Yeah. I don't know what it means, but I'm gullible. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. If Charlie told you black was white, you would believe him. Yeah? Yes. Well, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't traveled there much, China. I know. Hey, well, now, who, who was your wrestling match with? Uh, a fellow called Gruesome Gus. Gruesome Gus, yeah. The Pomona Pulverizer. Pom <laughs> I see. Well, isn't he the wrestler who agrees to pay $25 to anyone who could stay in the ring with him 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah, that's... Boy, them 10 minutes, they sure flew. Yeah. <laughs> and so did I most of the time. Yeah. So you went into the ring with this bruiser and you actually exchanged blows with him? Well, not exactly that. I just kept the ones I got. I see. <laughs> He said he'd, he'd, he'd pin my ears back. Weren't you scared? 
you know, I thought maybe they'd look better that way. Uh, yeah. So you started mixing? Yeah, we, we started mixing. Next thing I knew, I had a turned up nose. And her ear. <laughs> turned up nose, yeah, it turned up behind my ear. Oh, I see. <laughs> Made it pretty hard for smelling, though. Yeah. Well, now, uh, tell me then what happened, Dad. Well, I don't know. Uh, long about that time, I, I looked up and I saw a face that I recognized in the third row. Is that so? Yeah. A face you recognized. Who was it? It was me. Oh, you <laughs> And still you didn't give up. Well, all I can say is, stout fella. Well, thanks. <laughs> You're getting a little bulgy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm proud that you stood up to him like that. In other words, I'm glad to see that you've got red blood in your veins. Well, he didn't leave very much of it there. <laughs> Let's face it, he clobbered me. Uh -huh. It was really bad. Yeah, I'll say it was. Finally, he got so rough with me that my mask came off. Oh, your mask came off. Yeah. <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> he got one look at my face and he fainted. <laughs> 